Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. Application of ratio and direct proportion. Unit conversion. That means I'm going to show to show you how to set up ratio and direct proportion to do unit conversion. The first practice question is 648 inches equals how many feet? As we know, one foot equals 12 inches. So that's why we need to use this relation write ratio for. So one foot, you can write on the top, 12 inch on the bottom. So also you can write 12 inch on the top, one foot on the bottom. The first ratio form, it doesn't matter which on the top, but once you set up, and then the other side you need to follow the direct proportion, which is the foot on the top, the other side the foot on the top. Because this question, we're given 648 inches, that's why we need to put the 648 inches on the bottom. 12 inch on the bottom, 648 inch on the bottom as well. So this is direct proportion. Then we're looking for x. For x, we're looking for. We don't need to put any unit because when we perform this ratio proportion, we say inches inches can be cancelled out. That's why you got the x equal foot. The only unit. Here. So cross multiplication, cross the equal sign, multiply top number with bottom number on the other side. We have x times 12, you have 12 times x equals 1 times 648, still 648. Then divided 12 for both sides, you got the x equals. 54 feet. And after you got the answer, also you can think about is your answer reasonable? Because 1 foot equal 12 inches. Now if it's 648 inches, it must be as greater than 1 foot, right? So that's the number, yeah, must be as greater than 1 foot. And also, you think about because the 648, then you got the foot because there's a small unit, and now comes the big unit. The number should be smaller than this number. So 54 is the number smaller than 648 because this is a, it's not check check your calculation, but check you if. The ratio proportion set up correct. So let's try the second question. Second question is 1.57 meters equal how many inches? The information you have is 1 meter equals 3.281 foot. One meter equals three point two eight one feet. So using this information to do this conversion. But this is given the relation between meter and the foot. And we looking for meter and the inches. But we can separate the two steps. The first step we try to set up one meter over three point two eight one feet. Now we have 1.57 meter because meter on the top, the other side meter on the top as well. So now we're looking for you call how many feet. So meter meter cancel out. So we have cross multiplication. One multiply x equals x equals 1.57 multiply 3.281. This is a feet, 
So we got answer is 5.15 feet. After you got 5.15 feet, then we can convert second step, convert feet to inches. We're using one foot equal 12 inches to set up another ratio proportion. One foot equals 12 inches. Then we put 5.15 feet on the top because this is on the top, this is on the top. Then put another x. If this is x1. We're looking for x2, which is will be inches. Foot foot cancel out. So we have cross multiplication. We got x2 equals 5.15 times 12 inches equals to 61.8 inch. So the answer 1.57 meters equals 61.8 inches. The third question is about converging between liter and a gallon. So if we're looking for 53 liters equal how many gallon and let's say US gallon. So then first uh, we got information in one gallon, US gallon, one US gallon equals to 3.79 liters. Using this information, set up ratio, one gallon US over 3.79 liters. Now, you're given 53 liters, you need to put the bottom, right? You need to look at this. So 53 Point zero liters equal how many gallon? So liter on the bottom, liter on the bottom. So you're looking for convert to gallons, gallon on the top, gallon on the top. So cross multiplication, we have three point seventy nine times x equal one times fifty three, still equal fifty three. Zero. The leader leader cancel out. So you have divided 3.79 for both sides. You have x equal 53.0 over 3.79, and you got answer is 14.0 gallon US. Or fourteen point zero gallon US. Okay, the next question is four point three pound. You call how many kilograms? This is very useful conversion. Mostly you go shopping in store. Mostly the put the sign is how much for. One kilogram, how much for one pound, and give you cents, right? So as we know, one kilogram about you call two point two pounds, and then we make more accurate one kilogram equal two point two zero five pounds. Okay, and set up ratio proportion ratio is one kilogram equivalent to 2.205 pounds. On the other side, you set the pound on the bottom, 4.3 pounds, how many? Kilogram. So pounds, pounds cancel out. So cross multiplication from previous uh, calculation, you can see x equals 2. These two numbers both given, multiply. One times 4.3 equals 4.3. And this number multiply with the x, 
always divide the body. So we got 4.3 divided 2.205 equal 1.95. 1.95 kilogram. So 4.3 pounds equivalent to 1.95 kilogram. Okay, let's see one more example. 100 mile per hour equals how many? kilometer per hour. This is very useful information when you drive on highway or freeway in USA you always look the sign is in miles per hour but in Canada is in kilometer per hour. So let's see 100 miles per hour and how fast we convert to kilometer per hour. So, as we know, one mile equals 1.61 kilometer. So, set up ratio. So, one mile over 1.61 kilometer. Now we have 100 mile, the mile on the top. Because how many kilometers? My my cancel out. So cross multiplication one times x equals x equals hundred times one point sixty one, which equals one sixty one kilometer. So one hundred my equals one sixty one kilometer, because the bottom is per hour per hour. This unit. You don't need to worry about it because the hour hour it doesn't change, right? So that's why 100 mile per hour equivalent to 161 kilometer per hour. This is presented by Wise Guys. If you need more practice, you can go to uh, blogs.rrc.ca/me means house. I have more worksheet for unit converging. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.